क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अ रिलेशन बिटवीन लाप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म एंड जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म बेसिकली व्हाई दिस टॉपिक इज इंपॉर्टेंट रीजन इज व्हेन एवर यू वांट टू कन्वर्ट एनी लाप्लास डोमेन फंक्शन और एनी लाप्लास डोमेन टर्म इनटू जेड डोमेन देन वी रिक्वायर्ड दिस रिलेशन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल सी हाउ टू रिलेट लाप्लास डोमेन विद जेड डोमेन first of all look at here z transform is nothing but we are going to solve any discrete sample into z domain and laplace transform means what we are going to convert any continuous time signal into laplace domain so what we want we want a continuous time signal as well as we want a discrete time signal and both the signals when multiplied with each other then you will get the response in z domain so you can convert any continuous time signal into z domain but this is the graphical approach i'll show you how to perform this relation using mathematical way so first of all what is xp of t basically xp of t is a discrete version of continuous time signal where x of t is a continuous time signal and m of t is a simply train of impulses so i can say that my xp of t is simply look at here this is a pulse string or you can say it is a discrete sample version of continuous time signal so what i can do if i want to accumulate all the samples then we will always use a summation sign and this value started from minus infinity to infinity basically this output is obtained just by multiplying x of t with the train of impulses so i'll multiply x of t with you can write t minus nt or minus t plus t now i will apply laplace transform on both the sides so laplace transform xp of t is represented by xp of s because function is transformed into laplace domain and we will directly apply laplace transform on this delayed function so look at it we will apply a laplace transform on del of t minus nt because this xt is basically now available in discrete format so i'm going to replace this t by nt so i'll write summation value outside and then this xt is basically represented by x of nt and as i said i'm going to apply laplace transform on del of t minus nt now here i'm going to use time shifting property of laplace transform if the function is delayed by some value then we will always multiply e to the power st with the same value now here we are going to use a time shifting property of laplace domain so first of all summation n value from minus infinity to infinity then x of nt a time shifting property of laplace transform we can write a time shifting property so here the function is delayed by nt so we will write e to the power with the sign minus s n t that t is replaced by minus nt and then laplace transform of del of t which is 1 now so my xp of s is nothing but this so this was my xp of s now from here if i want to write minus n in the power of e to the power of minus t then this equation will be so this is in the form of we can say that it is in the form of z transform if we substitute z equals to e to the power st then this whole equation can be considered as or we can say that it is nothing but the definition of z transform so look at here as i said if i replace z by e to the power of st this e to the power of st is replaced by z then this is nothing but the definition of z transform and according to definition of z transform we can replace this xp of s by xp of z because now function will be transformed into z domain and this right hand side we can write x of nt into z to the power minus n so this is nothing but the relation 
or conversion of ad continuous time signal into discrete domain but we will use always this relation z equals to e to the power st and we can say that z equals to st e to the power st is the relation between laplace domain and z domain this equation is called as impulse invariant transformation now whenever we want to convert any continuous time signal or any laplace transform signal into z domain then we will always replace e to the power st by z then you will get the answer in z domain so that's all for now we will study a next topic in next video but for that stay tuned to ikeda and subscribe to ikeda for further more videos thank you so much